Welcome back from the big today. We're at Storks round number one, the 21-22 season. Back in October. Obviously, I'm a bit behind putting these videos together, but I am putting the entire season together, all 12 rounds. We're here at round one, getting things popped off. I got Brandon Black to my left. He's in 40B, Denim Sweezy to my right in four stroke B. I'm racing 30B, we got 32 riders on the line. Let's hit it. Looked like I had a decent jump, but then piled into the first turn here and stalled it. And if you notice, I am on a new bike, not on the two stroke anymore. Obviously, a lot of you guys already know this, but this is the first video on my channel with the four stroke. It's a 21 YZ250FX. And I had a nice uh, nice introduction to racing with it right there, just sitting in the first turn, not going anywhere, but we're getting off into the woods. I got Jay Wilson in all white right in front of me, and there's a freaking freight train heading off through the woods here. See if I can jump off the side here, make some moves early, hit by a few guys since I'm starting in like 33rd place, 32nd place. Looks like Martin Sanchez there in the red, and then I got Josh Spence to my right in the blue. They are both in 30B class with me, so we got some competition in the back here. Track conditions are looking good. Dirt is prime. A little slick in spots, but overall, pretty amazing. This is the Kingston Scrambler, that's the name of the race. Trying to make some moves real early here on Martin Sanchez and Red as JP Cruz is kind of stuck in the woods there. Trying to get around these guys going off on all these wild lines into the trees and shrubberies. Starting in last always causes me to have this super aggressive first lap where I'm just breathing hard, working hard the whole time and making crazy moves like this, just shooting off into the trees and open for the best. I was able to get around Nathan Vaughn there with my wild lines. on the four stroke before this race but this is the first race on the four stroke and the bike was feeling amazing got ryan roper there in the 30b class making a little mistake i'm able to get by him didn't have the suspension set up yet or anything but the bike overall just felt so good the engine power it's so smooth even the the suspension how it was when i got it was set up for a beginner rider and yeah it felt really good Make some moves early here, move up through the pack. Starting at last, super stylish back there. Bikes looking fresh though, super shiny. Trying to make some moves, but getting pinched off. I don't want to be too dangerous, you know, you gotta have some caution with these passes. We already got someone behind me. I'm getting by Mark Sanchez here, but I got someone behind me on a two-stroke. You can see him trying to get by. He's revving and yelling. I guess he's in buddy class. I don't know how the buddy class guys are already behind us. I got Mike Howerton right in front of me here. He's having a smooth little ride, and I don't know how these buddy class guys started behind us. I, I don't know if they started on the last row or whatever, but you got double-A guys in there, and they're already trying to yell and get past me here on the first lap when I'm trying to get past people myself. It's like, I don't have time to be pulling over. I'm in a race. So this dude gets by me here. I mean, that's that's the way to do it, right? Slide in sideways, haul in butt.
get by him there without too much trouble. So yeah, first race out on the four stroke, moved from the 250X. The bike was feeling super good. Uh, the bike overall is just super smooth. It gives me a lot of confidence and uh, looks good, feels good. Loving it so far. Since the bike is looking so fresh and will never look like this again, I put together a little compilation to show this thing off. Josh Spence up in front of me. He's in the 30B class, so I'm somewhere back in like 15th, 14th place out of uh, 17, so got a long ways to go to get up front. Oh, and he just 
lets Josh, this 40B guy, just lets Josh spin by like it's nothing. Had to give him a little rev limiter. Like Denim Sweezy there, the dude who started next to me was uh, stalled out a bit. We just got Jesse Carson in front of me here on 251 plus B class. section. I like the twisty stuff through the woods like that. Coming up near the end of lap one. Looks like that kid was throwing a rock or something. I don't watch out for those trail gremlins. You never know what they got. Oh, I smacked a tree right there. Mm. Glad that wasn't my foot. The footage was by the uh, Team Nasty Fast YouTube channel. Lap one, JP Balzer's out front. I'm back in, what, 11th place? So, not even in the top 10 yet, but making some good improvements from where I started. See if we can get up in that top five. Got his goggles off. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm getting by and I don't, uh, dislike it. Got Brandon Allen in front of me now, also in 30B class with me. Looking back, that's never a good sign. Working my way up. I should be in, what, ninth place now? I think that's Jesse King in 250 on the left that I just got by. This might be Gavin Woodruff in four-stroke B-class. Not sure who just got by me there, but I believe it's a buddy class guy. Shouldn't be uh, anyone in my row. Getting by Gavin Woodruff there without too much of a fuss. Looks like we got Justin Daughtry here. Justin is one of my main competitors for the whole season. There were a bunch of us that made it to the entire season and battled it out. It was a really good season with a lot of good competition. Brandon Thompson, Anthony Bennett, Justin Daughtry, which is in front of me here, Jason McKenzie, Corey Morrow, William McClure, Ryan Simmons, Brandon Allen, Nathan Vaughn, everybody had enough races to qualify. So yeah, really good competitive season. Look, looking to get past Justin here. He's always having a little arm pump issues towards the beginning of the race. Seems to get faster as the race goes on. to see back there. Lillian and Brianna up there on the side of the track, screaming it up. All right, lap two, JP Balls are still out front. Looks like Anthony Bennett's moved up into second. And I am up into seventh, so I've moved up four spots since lap one. Tyra Crane snapping some photos out there. I think that's Colby Keller at 30B with me that's uh, falling over right there. So that's another pass. Making a 
Jesse passed there. Justin Daughtry's right behind me now. Doing a little look back. I must have heard him. I was feeling the pressure and a little bit winded. I think that's Matthew Whitaker in front of me in the 2P1 plus B class. Don't know who it was on the ground back there. We got a real camera guy right there, got an orange shirt and everything. You can tell Justin's right behind me because the kids are yelling at him to pass me. We're coming around for the end of lap three. JP Balls are still out front. I'm up to fourth, that's three positions forward. Justin's yelling at me, I don't know what he's saying. Like somebody went down pretty hard right there. Hope he was all right. Oh! And I racked my nuts. And I might as well turn around and sit on the bike backwards. I just want to look back the whole time. I was getting a little bit winded, slowing down a little bit here. Jack Robinson, 251 plus B-Class, letting us by with ease. Decided to check up a little bit, let Justin by, see if I can pace with him for a bit here. I was feeling a little tired. You know, first race on this bike, getting used to things. Four-stroke lifestyle's a little bit different than that two-stroke flow. So just lost a position, basically gave it away. I don't remember if I knew that at the time. But I did seem to realize it because I started turning up the heat here. I thought it'd be a good idea to try to pass Colby here before the end of the race. We're coming up towards the end of the lap and it will be the checkers for us. Although the front top three got out and did another lap, so they did five laps. I was pushing to the end here, but couldn't quite make it. We're going to wrap it up here on lap four. JP Balls are still out front, and I'm back into sixth place, dropping back. Not too shabby, but not what I'd really like. Although for the first round, sixth place out of 17, not too bad. It's a good start. Here's the points as they run after race one going to be a good competitive championship. Let's keep this thing going. Hang on, I got earplugs in. <laughs> <laughs> 